How many grams of diphosphorus pentoxide will be produced when 25 grams of phosphorus? So first we're going to balance the equation. On the left side there's P4 and on the right side there's P2. So on the right side we're going to put a 2 so they both equal 4. And now we're going to balance the oxygens. On the left side there's 2 and on the right side there's 5 times 2 because of the mole. So now the left side we're going to have to put a 5 so they both equal 10. And now they are balanced. And now we're going to um, find out what we want. And what we want is diphosphorus pentoxide. And what is given is 25 grams of phosphorus. So we're going to write that out. So 25 grams of P4 multiplied. On the bottom, we're going to write um, phosphorus, the total mass of it. So 123.88 grams. And on the top is one mole. So now we're going to the mole mole bridge. So we're going to put the mole of phosphorus on the bottom and we're going to put the mole of diphosphorus on the top because that's what we want. So now we're going to write on the bottom one mole and because we want it in grams, on the top will be the total mass of diphosphorus metoxide, 141.94 grams. And now we're going to cancel all the units. So the grams will cancel out, and then the moles will also cancel out. Then the moles will cancel out, and what is left is grams. So now we're going to calculate that. 25 divided by 123.88. We're going to multiply that by 2 because of the mobile bridge. We're going to multiply it by how much the mass is, 141.94. And the total six fix is 3, so it would be 57.3.